Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math Channel. Today we are going to solve um, one of the most um, interesting differentiation question, which is to differentiate all right, this particular equation, which is y equals to ln x to the power of ln x. And um, this kind of uh, question itself, um, it seems confusing at first because you have a unknown variable on the power itself but uh, once you are able to um, tackle this kind of question using a certain set of uh, understanding of the concept itself you'll be able to tackle very similar questions like this all right so the first step what do you do for this kind of question was to lawn both sides okay by uh, do putting a lawn okay to the left hand side so the left hand side will be lawn y while the right hand side will just be equals to ln brackets um, ln x right to the power of ln x okay so the next thing we can actually bring this whole thing down over to the left hand side of the equation all right uh, based on the logarithms rule so in case or in the end itself you will have ln x is equals ln y is equals to ln x um, bracket ln ln x okay and the next thing you can do is to perform implicit differentiation by uh, differentiating both sides with respect to x so i were to differentiate the left hand side with respect to x and then i would have to differentiate the right hand side with respect to x all right okay and uh, because we are performing implicit differentiation for this left hand side we are we are actually differentiating with respect to x uh, and we are differentiating in terms of y so what do we do down here is that we will differentiate this long y first so that will be 1 over y at the same time you have to put this uh, dy over dx okay and then for the right hand side what we do is that we will do product rule so what we will do is that we will differentiate ln x keep this right first so that will be differentiation of ln x will be 1 over x and I will keep this term okay and then i will plus keeping this term and i will differentiate this whole term so that will be ln x uh, differentiating this term will be just equals to uh, 1 over ln x differentiating this ln x all right so we have to differentiate the ln x itself so when we differentiate ln x is just basically uh, 1 over x all right so now we have 1 over y and dy over dx uh, which is equals to 1 over x ln bracket ln x so the first term itself is just basically copying down for the second term we know that this two can cancel all right because this is a numerator and this is a denominator and then we differentiate with respect to x of ln x is just one over x all right and uh let me just continue doing down here all right uh so after which what we do is that we will factorize the one over x out so we have one over y uh, bracket dy over dx just keep it as it is for the left hand side of the equation while else for the right hand side of the equation we factorize the one over x out so we have um, in this form all right um, plus one all right so we have this we have this whole form down here okay and uh, last but not least uh, we have to multiply both sides by y and that will be in this portion so that will be dy over dx is equals to 1 over x uh, bracket square bracket ln bracket ln x close brackets close square brackets plus 1 close um, curly bracket <laughs> so many brackets and times y and now we know that y is equals to ln x to the power of ln x and hence all right the final answer to the question dy over dx or the differentiation of ln x to the power of ln x is just equals to 1 over x square bracket uh, curly bracket square bracket ln ln x all right plus 1 all right times uh, ln x to the power of ln x all right uh, so let me just write down the final answer is just uh, 1 over x uh, square bracket ln bracket ln x all right um, plus 1 all right times ln x to the power of ln x and that is the final answer to uh, this differentiation question of y is equal to ln x to the power of ln x all right uh, hopefully this uh, questions uh, or this solution will helps you 
uh, in understanding or the concept of how to actually go about doing this kind of a differentiation questions. If you have any questions with regards to any kind of the differentiation problems, do comment in the comment section below. And I will see you in the uh, next video. All right. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for the support. And I will see you. Goodbye, guys.